I lost my job. Let me explain. No! What do you think that is? 13. You're going to 14. Oh! 15. Something's coming. I can sing it now with my red view. Woo! Bro, I would be lying to you if I didn't say that the coilover install was going absolutely swimmingly. Check this out, bro. Old, new. Out with the old, in with the new. Screw this crap. Love this crap. Also, Fortune Auto, they're hooking it up. Code Stefan and code free ship. You normally can't stack the two codes together, but Fortune Auto, they're hooking it up. So you can save fat on Fortune Auto coilers if you want to get hooked up. If you guys know me, you know that I rock Fortune Autos on all my projects. I have them on the C6 Corvette, completely transformed the way the car handles, especially because that car started out with a leaf spring setup. Now it's got the full coilover setup. It is so insane how much that car changed. Dude, honestly, just what a blessing. What an absolute blessing. Bye, sweetie. I love you. Kids, bro. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just posted a video today with June. She was helping me throw the front coilovers on. It's legit one of my favorite things about cars now, like just cars in general, is working on cars with my daughter. my neighbors this car sounds like well now that I think of it it just sounds like a weed eater so it probably just fits right in a weed eater with a big fat turbo on it what, tarnation? what in tarnation Paul I lost my job you lost it? <laughs> let's go find it probably know I I've worked for a long time for a company called 8080 I think I worked there for like seven years total the first five years I worked there I basically started from the bottom I started as just like a cinematic guy just shooting like whatever just like cinema stuff I was always behind the camera and then over time that started to evolve we started figuring out what videos perform better why they performed better and so they started putting me in front of the camera I started talking to camera honestly talking in front of the camera never came easy to me and a little bit of a background with 8080 is they do car giveaways and they actually started with like old school JDM cars like this which is why it was such a natural fit why I wanted to work there so bad it was honestly such a dream job for me because when I first started working there like they were giving away R32s Mark for Supras, all just like the cool, like old school JDM stuff, even like Evos, STIs, which like, bro, that is my bread and butter. That's just like, that's just what speaks to my soul, you know? It was always about the JDM cars for me. But you know, naturally over the years, things change. They started giving away a lot more like newer cars, the new Mark V Supras, the Huracan, and they started phasing out the things that just didn't really make sense anymore. I happen to be one of those things. Now also, I wanna make it abundantly clear that I have no issues with 8080. They've been so good to me over the last almost seven years that I've been there, and I've also tried to return that to them in loyalty. I've had so many different companies. I'm sure you guys are familiar with car giveaway companies. They're a dime a dozen. 8080 was one of the OGs in the car space, but over time, it just like, you know, the trend caught on. People started giving cars away. So, you know, naturally, as those companies started popping up, I started getting offers from those companies, like asking to come do some stuff with them, and also kind of like in combination with having this YouTube channel there are a lot of people that wanted me to shout it out on my YouTube channel or wanted me to come work for them directly but I always said no because my loyalty really lied with 8080 but anyway to wrap this up long story short I got phased out I got a text I, I wasn't super happy on how they went about it just because I had been there for so long and it was just kind of like without skipping a beat they just kind of like you know, they phased me out. And again, no hard feelings because business is business. And I get that like, you gotta make the right financial decisions for your business moving forward. You have to do what makes sense right now. And if I no longer made sense financially, that's completely fine. Now, speaking of finances, there are some blessings and some curses about the situation. 8080 was still a, like a good chunk of my income. So speaking of finances. Now, as you can guys see behind me, the warehouse 
is completely empty. And ironically enough, this actually has absolutely nothing to do with me not working there anymore. And it's the same thing with the GTR. I didn't sell the GTR because I lost that income. Like I did actually sell the GTR so we could get something nicer. I did actually get rid of the warehouse because surprise, we're actually gonna move into a new house. And for me, rather than renting this warehouse space, it just started to make more sense to build out a big home garage with like a three or four car garage and have the same setup but just at home. But now what to expect moving forward. From this point on, since I'm now kind of like a free agent, you can probably expect I'll be doing some collaborations with other giveaway companies. You guys might have also noticed that I've been posting a little bit less frequently pretty much since December of last year. But for January and February, I've been really focusing a lot of my time on launching a new business, solving a problem that I have. And I'll give you a hint, it's, it's not merch. It's not like any sort of apparel. It's not like car soaps and waxes and stuff like that. Although heaven knows I need that. This car's so dirty. But this is something that I truly believe in. It's something that I feel very passionate about. And if you guys want to know kind of what I'm up to, or at least want to be the first one to know when it opens up, there'll be a link below where you can find out more information. Also, bro, dirty or clean, this car looks insane and it handles insanely well with the new Fortune Autos on there. I can't believe that I ran those clapped out coilovers for as long as I did. Also, fitment is on point, boy, oh my gosh. Anyway, 2022 has proved, oh my gosh. <laughs> That, I really just said 2022. You guys know that you're doing it on all your forms, on anything that you're writing, you're still writing 2022. It happens at least January, February, March for everyone. I don't care who you are. No, on the real, 2023 has proved to be a very interesting year so far. Massive shout out to everybody that supported me, especially you guys. I couldn't do this without you. I feel very fortunate to be at a spot where like, I basically have left like what was my day job and I can focus all of my energy completely on making videos. And honestly, huge shout out to James as well. I wouldn't have this channel without James. I actually met James through 8080 and I had this like weird experience of like, I was used to talking on camera, I was used to making videos, I used to like working on cars, documenting cars, and James really helped me take that skill set and like plug it into like having an actual YouTube channel. I've got a lot more videos coming up in the pipeline that may or may not have to do with a couple important people taking their driving test. It's gonna be sick, you guys are gonna love it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell. On that note, say goodbye to the warehouse.